Rob Grimes with the IFBTA. And today I'm really very pleased to have in the studio, which is like not normal, but in the studio to have our guest, Brett Smith, who's the Vice President of Product Strategy and Management at Par Technology. And Par is one of our industry supporter members. So welcome to the studio, Brett. Thanks for having us. Let, let me just ask you a, a different, well, so wait, before we get mm -hmm. off the strategy thing. Yep. I'm not sure you exactly answered something nor that you would do this, but are there specific areas of technology that are gaps either today or what you think will be needed in the next few years where we should expect to see you either, you know, uh, make, you know, or buy, you know, a technology in there? Mm -hmm. And are there other industry segments like you've already pointed out how you started getting into a few of them by natural progression that you are focused on that all of a sudden your goal is to be a market leader in them? So that was a loaded question, but and I can answer You're it You're the part. strategy guy. Yeah, you I better can, have I'll, it in your I'll, head. I'll, I'll, I'll answer it in part. Um, first, you know, the in, in the restaurant space, the, the pressure of the food basket and the labor, things that will align with improving those conditions, the cost modeling, uh, and 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 the new technologies that are surrounding solving that, right? Um, so, in innovation is happening at a fever pace around labor, right? And I think you talked about that back in was it NRA? Um, Summer. So, yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody's talking so, about labor. But but it, it, there's there's a lot of innovation happening, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be from par, and it doesn't need to be an acquisition. I see building out the, the availability to, to connect as important as building our own in, in many cases. So making sure that my products are available to be in, in, uh, in the conversation as a primary uh, voice is most important. Okay. So as, as an example, you know, we, we were brought in uh, recently with a, a, an international brand and uh, we were talking about voice uh, at the Squawk Box, right? And how that how that may change, and may change us, right? So sure, we all know about conversational ordering; it's been around for a while. But yep. when when it comes to voice and plugging that in, how much do you rely on you know the the AI component? How much do you really want to just prepare for it? And so we're already t thinking that way to make sure that okay, we're adaptable. Okay, so there's a, there's an right? example of a of a trend and something that you think people should think about, but sure. you're already thinking ahead and how it's going to mm -hmm. plug in, right? And and connect, yeah, into it's, delivering on the promise. It's, it's really important that like it, the way the way that I see our customers using our software is that it's not for now; it's grow with, right, and be current. And, and thinking ahead to make sure that their investment and our and we grow with them, right? And 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 the the same is true in reverse. As we grow, so will they. I mean, it's it's not uh, it's not surprising. And that's why it's a partnership, you know, yeah. out there, and, and why you learn from it. You know, I'm just going to put you on the spot for a second mm -hmm. here. Um, so you have a long history in the industry, and you know, companies make investments. And one thing that I've noticed over the last couple of years is that Par has made a lot of investments in people who bring industry experience, but also investments in people who come from outside the industry that bring other ideas. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm curious, you know, why you and some of your counterparts that have a history in the business and why those that come from other industries see the vision in par to come forward um, as a place to be given your long experience in the industry and their view of who is going to be the leader in an exciting industry? So um, it's, 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 it's a great question. Um, there's several components to it, right? So first, um, PAR has gathered some of the great uh, industry leaders, right? With, with a history, and, and if I'm included in that, I appreciate it, but um, you I, my peers, my peers, are people that really know their stuff. And not, not because it has been, it's because of what they're thinking about next, right? So when, when I was interviewing and with Savneet, uh, our CEO, um, you could tell like inside of five minutes, the energy change from some of the old guard that I'm used to. And, and so the excitement starts the minute you say hello. The old guard that you're used to in par or just in the industry? In the industry. Because in par, 
while there could be some old guard, I would mm -hmm. tell you it is the culture and every company has its culture mm -hmm. and its closeness to the industry that also endears them to many customers. Mm -hmm. Well, so PAR has upped its game remarkably. Absolutely. And, and as, as, as you know, in the past, I used to compete with PAR. And it was the people that mattered at PAR more than the products at that time, right? They over understood and planned ahead for our customers. Right? There's never a time when we don't think, you know, as in, in, our, in our meetings, we go, okay, what's happening within our customers that we should be aware of and know about, right? So let, let's say a customer has a, a, an enormously uh, staged promotion, right? Where does that hit our company? How can we think ahead right. and make sure that they're successful? That's the way we think. It's not, oh, wow, they had a promotion and something changed that we didn't expect. But today it's the people and the culture. It is. Because you're not gonna lose, you know, that industry, uh, you know, feeling and emphasis and enthusiasm mm -hmm. that you really grew up with that's made some of the relationships as long standing as they are. But at the same time, you're also bringing in the people to up the game, right. as you say, yep. you know, and uh, and bring it forward. The, the, uh, the other thing is that we value um, so, some of the key people in our industry, in our, in our team, right, are still the founders, right? So we have founders in, in our building and, 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 right. and it's kind of cool, right? Because we never lose track of what was, what was their mission, right? As it aligned to parts. Absolutely. And it's an enormous responsibility, right? To, to make sure that those 70,000 restaurants open every day. In 110 countries. Right. <laughs> Right, it's true. No, it is, and it's a global responsibility, right? Because every country and every relationship is right. different. So, so I get that. So, uh, you know, I think it's very clear. You know why why you joined and some of your uh, counterparts have joined, yep. both in and out of the industry to really take it forward. Yep. Um, taking the experience of the past, but also the knowledge and prediction of the future to. I take think. That. I think what what is uh, so I've been there about a year, year and a half. And what I've exhibited, the, the leadership really does recognize, okay, this is where we want to go. Here's our gaps. Let's hire in to support those gaps, right, and move forward straight away. Great. So uh, last question for you, you know, really is, you know, you guys have joined the IFBTA and, you know, yep. uh, you know why have you joined the IFBTA? So... Uh, for me, it's 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 personal. I like to stay in touch with the industry. I can't get out of it, even in times where I gave you an excuse to go from Annapolis to you know, it, to, yeah. to Maryland, right? right. <laughs> and and it gives and you an excuse to, <laughs> to get to Annapolis. Right. The uh, so uh, for me, it's about passion. Um, the e even at times where I just was thinking about leaving the restaurant tech industry, I still am on the Maryland uh, Restaurant Association's board for Education Foundation. I can't get away from it, right? So I'm thrilled that my company has I joined. Say, I want you to understand that he just said, even when we, meaning him, yep. he is thinking about leaving the industry. He didn't mean Parr was thinking about leaving no, the no, industry. No, 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 no. <laughs> thanks for clarifying that, yeah. And, and, but it's and, a passion, and right? It's a passion. And, and so I'm very happy, personally, that we've joined. Um, but really, it's going to open up our our ability to uh, to network, right? And and the leaders in your group will be very very mm -hmm. matched with ours. Well, it's it really is a two way street, you know. For us, uh, you know, you want the industry leaders on both the operator side as well as the tech side to yep. be a part of it. Uh, it's what drives innovation, and we sort of see our role as that uh, connecting point mm -hmm. to bring the two groups together because you really do need both groups to put their heads together and share the information and learn from each other, which are you know two of the three areas that we take a look at. So we're really pleased uh, to have uh, PAR Technology as an industry supporter member and Thanks for very us. pleased to have you know uh, Brett Smith, uh, who is well known in the industry and has that <laughs> reputation that he brings to uh, uh, PAR and the experience there as their Vice President of Product Strategy and Management. And so, Thank you for your support of the industry and Thanks for, for your support us. of the IFBTA. Right. Thanks.